Welcome to Brian K. Hempel's Video Arts Review. Today's review is the Coen Brothers True Grit. Hello, my name is Brian Hempel. I'm an author, artist, and lecturer. Uh, Joel and Ethan Coen's True Grit uh, which, though, seems to pay some visual homage to Henry Hathaway's popular 1969 movie of, uh, a version featuring John Wayne, this movie actually owes more of its gritty toughness and reality to Charles Portis's 1968 novel. Um, whereas the original uh, True Grit movie would be like living in a modestly furnished cabin on the outskirts of town, this new update is more akin to living in a bear cabin uh, out in the wilderness uh, and sleeping on the uh, cold floorboards. Uh, though the dialogue of this movie is clever, uh, this is a movie that lives in a hard scrap of Wild West uh, and not in a glorified one. Uh, we have 14-year-old farm girl, uh, Maddie Ross, uh, who's actually played quite convincingly by 14-year-old actor Holly Steinfeld, who goes into town uh, to make funeral arrangements for her father uh, and to square away her father's business uh, on behalf of the family. Uh, Maddie's ulterior motive, however, is to find a lawman to avenge her father's death uh, because her father was shot down and robbed by farmhand Tom Chaney, uh, played by Josh Brolin. Uh, at the summer crees for a lawman with true grit, as she describes it, uh, she hires Marshal uh, Reuben J. Rooster Cogburn, uh, played by Jeff Bridges, to track down and capture Chaney. Uh, in short order, uh, Maddie learns that uh, Rooster is a drunkard, is quick-tempered, uh, quick-triggered, rough-riding, uh, in fact, an ornery vomit uh, who's guarded uh, uh, against all who cross his path or is at odds with them. Uh, in a brawl, a rooster will just as soon escalate a knife fight uh, to a gunfight uh, to keep the odds in his favor, uh, which may explain why uh, even before the drama of the movie starts, he has already killed uh, approximately two dozen men. Um, on the... Um, uh, uh, one scene, which perhaps is a commentary about the attitudes of white Americans towards Native Americans uh, at the time. Uh, Rooster, in fact, boots two Native American children for no apparent reason. Uh, although the children don't seem to be uh, too upset or surprised uh, at his actions. Uh, on a positive side of the accounting ledger, however, uh, Rooster uh, Cogburn does possess a rarefied uh, tenacity and resilience uh, and an unaccounted uh, uncanny ability to accurately read people. Um, uh, for better or worse, Maddie figures that she will use these positive uh, and negative attributes uh, of Rooster to meet out the mean type of justice that she thinks is deserving uh, of her father's killer. Uh, however, we have Texas Ranger LaBeouf, uh, played by Matt Damon, uh, who promises to deny Maddie of this justice uh, by capturing outlaw uh, Cheney for himself. Uh, because he wants to reward money. Um, the LaBeouf comes off somewhat uh, uh, as a naive Boy Scout. Uh, when it counts, he does manage to muster some uh, true grit. Uh, and of course, we have Maddie, who on her own terms, uh, and uh, who starts out as an unwanted tag-along, uh, proving her self-worth through doggedness, uh, shrewdness, and self-reliance, uh, and becoming somewhat uh, of a respected sidekick uh, to Rooster. Uh, though uh, John Wayne's Rooster Cogburn would directly admit uh, that, uh, that Maddie's spiciness um, reminds him of himself, uh, Jeff Bridges Cogburn is wary of making such emotional pronouncements, uh, although his quick trigger finger uh, does speak volumes uh, of his fondness for Maddie. Um, this version of True Grit uh, does test the true measure of men, or in this case, of men and a girl. Uh, Jeff Bridges gives a brilliant performance. Uh, in fact, it's one of the best of his career. Uh, Matt Damon is pretty steady uh, as a Texas Ranger, uh, and Josh Brolin is uh, pitch perfect uh, as this sneaky, apprehensive outlaw. Uh, given the fact that Holly Steinfeld uh, gives us such a smart performance uh, against the likes of Grammy Award winners uh, Jeff Bridges and Matt Damon uh, and Grammy Award nominee Josh Brolin, um, True Grit also shows us the medal of a promising young actor who has a great 
uh, a bright future uh, ahead of her. Um, I wasn't sure if I would like True Grit uh, when I entered the theater, but I did leave the theater loving it. Uh, to me, True Grit is nearly a perfect uh, movie to which uh, I give five out of five stars. This is Brian Hempel. Uh, please stay tuned for my upcoming book release, The Elements of Creative and Expressive Artistry, uh, which is due out at the end of January 2011. Uh, this is Brian K. Hempel signing off. Thank you.